What's up guys, welcome to another video. Um, I had a great weigh this morning. It means I've lost 20 pounds so far in this uh, cut, uh, which I'm pretty happy with. I've got 20 pounds and four ounces, so really good news from my point of view. Um, I'm really glad of it. I'm gonna jump into a chest workout in a minute. Uh, firstly though, I had a nice delivery this week from Insight Supplements. Um, this Naughty Boy. Um, this is a pineapple OG flavour. I've already had two scoops of this. Um, I try and stay away from um, having pre workouts every day, but um, I've had it the past two days for running. I felt a bit lethargic and a bit tired the past few days, so um, yeah, I'm going to chug a scoop of this. Um, it does only have one scoop on this, which I tend to stick to the um, requirements on the label because I don't like to overdo it. So um, yeah, I'm going to jump into a chest workout. Um, I usually do three to four exercises, so I'll run you through it, um, see how it goes, and yeah, I'm looking pretty lean at the moment. I'll also do a physique update um, today because I think it's, I'm overdue one. And uh, yeah, let's get to the workout. Right, I'm all warmed up, ready to go on my chest workout now. For exercise one, we're gonna try and replicate a cable machine. One of the difficulties of um, working out from home is not everybody got a cable machine. Uh, well, not, well, some people are fortunate on YouTube to have cable machines, but yeah, they bought them in good time and not everybody's got the money to afford a cable machine or even the space. So um, one thing you can try and do is try and replicate a cable machine is, I've hooked this um, resistance band to the top of the stair banister, and I've dangled it all the way downstairs and I've put a, um, an ankle cuff on the bottom of there, I'm just going to put slide my hand in here. I'm basically just going to do a, a bent over kind of single arm um, cable fly. Basically, um, I can get onto my knees. I'll change the camera angle just to show you. But um, this is one way of um, trying to replicate a cable machine essentially. So um, the only thing you are limited is, is kind of how much resistance you need. Um, I found the red band was too easy, so I've moved on to the black one. I really wonder why we're in these wrist straps. Problem with this is it's not like a, a conventional cable machine where you can um, easily kind of um, tuck your arm inside your body. So as I'm pulling down, bringing down here, the um, the carabine is co connecting with my wrist. And it's, the metal's like digging into my wrist. So that's the reason I've got these wrist straps on. No other reason to keep my wrist in support. So um, yeah, I'm gonna set up the tripod and show you exactly um, the exercise I do. So um, yeah. What's up guys, um, exercise number one done. That was the cable um, replicator kind of thing. So exercise number two, I'm gonna do incline push-ups. I'm gonna use this um, pull-up machine. I say pull-up machine, it's a pull-up bar which hooks over the door. It's also, um, you use this for push-ups and especially if you like close bench press or you can do regular push-ups on this. So what I'm gonna do is put my feet up onto the bench, grab hold of this and use this. It's almost like to replicate a um, incline barbell press. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get to it. Thank <sighs> you. 
So just finished exercise number two, that was five sets on incline push-ups. Um, pretty hard that, to be honest. It's not really the weight, it's more the volume on that one. So um, yeah, I'm gonna swoop on to um, exercise number three. This is just conventional dumb, flat dumbbell press with a bench. Um, fortunately, I've got enough weight to maybe go up to around 32 and a half kilos. So um, I'm gonna work at around 27 and a half my first few sets, and then I'm gonna work my way up to that. Um, weight and um, yeah to be honest my dumbbells run out of space then when you get to about 32 kilos so um, I've got some longer dumbbells in the post coming soon so um, I can't wait to utilize them so I'm rack as much weight as I want on them so uh, yeah I'm gonna crack on with extra number three flat dumbbell press Right, that concludes exercise number three. To be honest, I struggled then, that was really hard. Um, I think it was more um, my endurance rather than strength, really. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of nursing two kind of niggles in my both front delts. I'm not really sure what caused that. I'm not sure if it was the um, incline push-ups, which is quite bizarre, really, because I've been doing those for a few weeks now, so um, I was getting quite strong, quite my uh, endurance on those was quite good, so not really sure there, so just trying to be careful. Um, my fourth exercise is conventional push-ups, but with these, I don't tend to have my arms kind of here and pushing up, kind of having them out to the side and kind of underneath, underneath me is also if I'm like scooping up. And um, I do th three sets of these at the end of my uh, chest workout, usually just as a finisher. It almost feels like it develops the out of, out of uh, pec and the lower pec as well. Obviously it's working the whole pec at one, but um, I really feel it around this area and under here. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna finish up with those. Exercise number four is basically conventional push-ups. So that's uh, three sets of the um, conventional push-ups done. Um, to be honest, really hard towards the end. Um, my chest is really, really pumped. Like I said, two little nibbles on my shoulders don't feel great, but I have full rest day tomorrow. No weights whatsoever. But I'll do a um, physique update out in the garden. Um, physique update time, usually do on a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, but yeah, gonna get to the uh, physique update. And that concludes the uh, chest workout.
Hi guys, I'm so excited. We just picked up a takeaway. <gasps> I literally can't wait. I know, I'm buzzing. Bit of a nightmare to try and get it though. I mean, every time we call them, they say they can't hear me and they hang up. Yeah, it was like an hour and <sighs> 15, hour and a half wait, so... Yes, a lot of places have got the same issue, haven't they? So. To be fair, at least when we got there this time, it was ready. So yeah. it's a bit of we don't we haven't had a takeaway for a while. I think the last one's Domino's, yeah. yeah. But for a curry, which I absolutely love, um, it's been a while, and it's a bit of a mini. Well, it's not a celebration because you hate anniversaries and I hate anniversaries and all like those that. kind of things. So. But we did. We were in Santorini this time last year when we got engaged, which will be actually a year tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Seven, yeah. yeah. So this is our um, celebration. Celebration. Off. Even though last time we were in Santorini, in absolutely beautiful weather, scenery, and eating probably baby eating, squid, yeah, baby squid, squid, and and um, well, seafood, seafood pasta. pasta but now we've got. Wine. To be honest, though, I'm, I'm looking forward to just eating a cheap meal, whereas Lou thinks it's more of an anniversary thing. So um, no. I even Did, got a gin to celebrate. Yeah, no, we've got a gin to celebrate. So we're just gonna. Probably pop it back in the oven because um, it's got a bit cold now. So pop it back in the oven, um, dish it all up, and we'll uh, we'll show you what we got. And it's even better when they put extra samosa. Extra in. samosa, yeah. Mm -hmm. if, if if you're not from the UK <laughs> and you don't know about um, Indian food, the uh, British are like a well known, we're well known for eating curry and stuff. But um, unfortunately, we can't go to the pub first and then for a curry. It's just um, pub at home and. Uh, yeah, we're gonna smash this. I've saved all my calories today. Another about a thousand calories so far today. I'm so surprised you're not past that. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> hungry now. So yeah, I didn't plan on having a cheat meal today to be honest. Um, but I've saved my calories back. Well, I do go over slightly to my calories. I started feeling a bit lethargic this week, uh, to be honest. Um, and so I feel a bit low in low energy. I think it's to do with um, you know, this, it's on like a four week cycle for me. Like I tend to do like a cheat meal every four ish weeks, but sometimes you just don't. You just gotta ride through it, and you know. Um, not have a cheat meal but it was a little mini celebration kind of thing um we're stuck in the house as usual with the <laughs> lockdown so yeah we're just gonna enjoy ourselves a saturday night and um yeah um we'll show you what we got <laughs> what's up guys literally we are too hungry to wait for you guys for the starter so we just smashed the starter we had meat samosa starters it's amazing and a side salad. Don't worry, I'm not on a. I am on a diet, but I didn't eat the salad because I'm on a diet. I'm just sat down and enjoying this now. But um, I've got the mains ready. I'll show you what we got. So Lou's got what have you got there, Lou. A beef bunga special. So it's like slow cooked beef, and not many places from an Indian do actually slow cooked beef or beef at all. But oh, it's amazing. It's yeah, so no, it's, re it's really tenders. good. That, uh, yeah, it's like slow cooked in it for it's hours. Good, yeah. yeah. I've got a murgi masala, which is um, like lamb, mince and um, pulled uh, chicken, so yeah, it's really good. Um, that's mine down there, if you can see. I haven't dished mine up yet, to be honest. But um, yeah, we've got the rice, we've got a peshwari naan. And a keema rice. Got um, chips over there, or fries as most people call it. And yeah, we're going to dish this up, smash it, and then watch a film on TV. Yeah, we can't wait for this. We're so hungry. <laughs> 